talking to me, telling me I'd been in some kind of wreck. He had a wipe and he canceled. Nothing special about me, I just happened to, happened to survive. Keys to recovery. A Garrett man has been given another chance at life. He almost died in a serious crash in April. Our Amelia Miles talked with him and one of the medics who helped save his life. Now, Linda and Krista, many people call Josh Stoller a miracle. After he nearly died in a crash, he's finally back on his feet and slowly getting back to doing what he loves. Take a listen. Josh Stoller has always had a love for music, especially playing the piano. But that all changed on April 18th on his drive home from work. Uh, I remember work. I remember leaving work and then I blinked out. Stoller told his wife he was heading home, but she didn't hear back for hours. The following call she got, someone's worst nightmare. I could feel something was wrong with my breathing. I couldn't feel any pain. I couldn't uh, see anything. It was just blackness, but I could hear. Stoller was in a horrible crash. Police say his car hit a modular home being pulled by a semi on US 6 and County Road 200 West. He was trapped. His arm and shoulder were almost torn off. These guys helped me to survive because there's absolutely no way I would have been able to survive without the quick response, I mean, lightning fast response of everyone involved. I was thinking in my head, there's no way anybody is alive in that. There's no way. An off-duty police officer was first on scene, followed by Gabrielle Forker, a Noble County paramedic. I found out um, before I even knew if he was alive or not that he had a wife and kids and I just felt really bad for him. Stoller's wife and four children were waiting as he was airlifted to Fort Wayne. And three months later, <laughs> he's back on his feet. With the amount of surgeries and the amount of uh, pain I was in and uh, just the whirlwind of activity that was going on, I don't remember a lot. His arm still has no feeling, so he can't play the piano like he used to, and he may never again. Only time will tell. And until then, he says he'll be playing duets with his daughter, Ariel. And I got four kids, I got a wife, and it's amazing that I get to come home to them, and I'm, uh, I get to hug and hold my kids, and just, that's amazing. More than anything, he's grateful to have met his miracle workers. They came in and they held my hand and they said they wanted to touch a miracle. They said it and that was, it was just, it was amazing that they, they came to see me and they, there's nothing, nothing special about me. I just happened to, happened to survive, but they had a hand in that. So what's next for Stoller? Well, he wants to be able to jog or walk in the Fort for Fitness in October. He says four miles is nothing compared to what he's been through. A million miles, 21 Alive News.